What's up guys, Pursued Fire here today with another Minecraft tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on and enjoy. So let's not waste another second of 2022, let's jump right into it. Alright, so to get started, we are going to be using Shockbyte to set up and host our Minecraft server. Uh, I personally use them for all of my servers, and they are an affiliate of my channel. So if you go down in the description below, you'll find a link to Shockbyte.com. And if you use that link and use code LAUNCH at checkout, you will receive 25% off your first month of server hosting, which is huge because as you can see, they uh, have a very affordable options as it is. So yeah, they have a wide range of uh, server sizes that you can order from. You can go down from one gigabyte up to 30, 32 gigabyte for $80 a month, or you can order a custom plan if you need so, if you're setting up a massive uh, mini game server or whatever. But personally, I recommend doing at least a two gigabyte server. Uh, as you can see down here, they have recommended slots. Uh, you could probably go to about 20 with a large server here with two gigabytes. Uh, but either way, go ahead and click order now and get that set up. And then I will see you on the other side. Once you've set up your account and made your purchase, then you're going to want to head up to this manage section here and click on multicraft. And once you've logged into your multicraft section, it should take you to your server page here. If you have multiple servers, it'll show you a list of servers to choose from. But if this is your first time setting it up, it should just take you directly to this page right here. The first thing you're going to do is go to the bottom of the page here where it says server type. And this is where you can select from a list of server types ranging from Bedrock, Java, Modded, Spigot, whatever. They have a lot of options to choose from. Today, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a vanilla Minecraft server. So you're going to want to click vanilla Minecraft. And then you'll have a bunch of options for the different versions. You'll have snapshots, all that good stuff. But we're going to want to click right here where it says auto updating vanilla Minecraft. Current version is 1.18.1 at the time of recording this. So you're just going to go ahead and click that. Should go ahead and update. And there you go. Now you have your Minecraft server jar. So now let's go ahead and show you how to go into the config files or the server property files and set up a few options here. Okay, so to get to your server settings, you're going to want to go over to this sidebar here and go down to files. Click that and it'll open up a drop down menu here. And we're going to want to click on config files. And that'll open up this page with a list of options to choose from here. We're going to want to go ahead and click on this server settings and this will open your server.properties file. Open that up and here is all the options that you're going to want to use or want to change for your uh, Minecraft server. So you can change everything from the spawn, uh, spawn size, whitelisting if you want to enable that. You can set up your level seed. So we'll do that. We'll just do one, two, three, four. Uh, you can change the game mode to creative adventure, spectator, whatever you want as well as your difficulty setting. So let's go ahead and put this on hard mode. Uh, and then, yeah, you have a whole bunch of options. So anything that you're going to want to change is going to be in this file here. Once you have your settings set up however you like, then you're going to want to come over to your main page here, and you're going to want to click this Start button. This will officially start your server for the very first time. Now, beware, if you do have whitelist enabled, you're going to want to go over to your console and whitelist yourself. If you want a video on how to set up whitelisting your server, uh, just drop it down in the comments below and I'll make that another day. All right, so now that you have your server set up and started, you're going to want to go down to this server address here. And this is your IP address that you're going to be using to log into the server to set it up and all that. So go ahead and right click, copy that. And now you're going to want to head back into your Minecraft server section here. And we're going to click on this add server button. And then you can give your server a name, whatever you want. But you're going to want to paste that IP address right in there. Click done. And there you go. You have your first Minecraft server all set up and ready to go for you and your friends. All right, so that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not sure why I'm Steve, but uh, I am. So we're going to roll with this. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helps you out, please leave a like and comment down below any future videos you'd like to see me make on tutorials or anything. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and have a great 2022.